guys welcome back today we're going to take a look at the most easy power move combo there is and that is drum roll windmill to backspin this is so easy but you of course have to have the windmill done you actually don't even have to have the backspin done but of course it makes sense you can also do the backspin the backspin is very easy actually uh, and probably one of the first moves you should learn, right? So I suggest if you cannot do the backspin, I suggest checking that one out. Also, if you cannot do the windmill well, this combo is pretty much impossible for you because you need windmill to go to the backspin, right? Uh, so when people learn the backspin normally, like I also teach it this way and like I know a lot of people who learn it from their side like this. And there's actually nothing wrong with it, doing it like that. But the problem is basically when you do combos, flares, air flares, whatever moves, right? You cannot enter from your side. This will probably, like if I, I, I'll do it on purpose right now, right? To do a move, let's say I do the flare and I wanna do the backspin. This means I have to sort of, okay, I do a flare, right? Crash on my hip and then I enter the backspin. Of course, that's not what you want, right? So that's why we learn the windmill half. This means you just do half a windmill and stop on your back. So what this simply gonna do is I'll first use the the most basic one with the freeze, right? So it's easy to, to follow along, even if you're a beginner. You just do a windmill, but instead of swinging all the way through, till like that, right, you, you swing your leg up. You just stop on your back and try to not kick this leg up, but kick it a little bit more circular, or if that nothing changes. So we take a look. Okay, I automatically start spinning. Now, if you already have the back spin down, uh, basically from this position where your legs are wide what you will do is you pull your knees into your armpits and keep your legs up in the air as a beginner so what I see always go wrong with people do backspin they put their legs like this their back their lower legs are to, towards this side and when you do this you will wobble on, on your back and your lower back will probably touch the floor I have two little bones above your butt if these touch the floor Man, that's terrible. That's, that's just, just hurts and, and it's, it's like actually an injury if it's hard, right? So try to avoid that. In the beginning, keep your feet, your lower legs up in the air. Don't, also don't do this. Like, it's not wrong. You can backspin like this. You also can backspin like this if you're very good, right? But we try to avoid it as a beginner. So, uh, now we know all that, we're going to do the same half windmill. Make sure you finish your swing. This is uh, what I see as a mistake. Actually, it's not really wrong. But still wrong because you're not using your power move entrance you're just using uh, a twist on your back right so when i immediately as i enter collapse the legs already right i'm not using the swing of my legs to enter that move and what will happen if i don't use the hands or just pop into it i cannot backspin you want to learn how to swing your legs correctly like a windmill so we're going to simply enter that half windmill and then pull our legs in and as you get better at the backspin, or maybe you're already good, you can play with the legs, thread, whatever you want, put your leg in your nose, I don't care, right? But in the beginning, I suggest keeping these legs up in the air and keeping your lower back of the ground. So from here, open and spin like that, right? Simple as that. Super easy, guys. So after you get this done, what you want to actually start doing is do it from standing. So if you can do go from standing to the windmill, you already have that done. Basically, you need the power move entrance to the windmill, right? You simply stop on your back here and all the same principles apply. First open the legs and then pull them in. And if you do it correctly, what you will see is a really nice speed up. So you will enter and spin hard, right? This is because when your legs are open, you spin slower. So by opening first and then pulling them in, you see a nice speed up in your backspin, which is a cool effect. So take a look, entering from standing, pulling. Like that, right? And spinning nice and fast, as you can see. Um, so, if you have those down, like like for if you can go from the power fenders, everything is the same if you come from a flare. Everything is the same when you come from a swipe. Everything is the same from any move, basically. You just push like a windmill entrance. And, you know, if you can go from any move to the windmill, you can also go from any move to the backspin. So that's why it's an easy uh, transition, guys. So, the last one is... Uh, if you do windmills without hands and you basically what you have to do is simply uh, if you do it usually well for me the same a little bit as I just do it I don't think about oh I need to keep my legs that wide I've been doing it many years 
I know that move, right? But as soon as I do a combo, I always automatically stretch my legs more. Windmill to fret, I stretch my legs more and try to open my legs more. Uh, Windmill to halo, I try to open my legs more. The reason why is because these moves also require a wide and clean and tight swing. So in this case, it's a little bit the same. You just do the normal fast window, but the last one, you try to open the legs more. So when you enter that back spin from that window, you're actually as wide as you can and as tight as you can, right? So that will help you out. And then this leg for me, because I'm right-handed, it cannot kick up. If you kick up like a normal windmill, you basically fly too soon in the backspin. So you want to do windmill, 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 backspin, and spin, right? Uh, but it's quite a cool effect if you do it correctly. So uh, yeah, let's take a look. I'll just do some fast windmills and then go to the, to the backspin, right? And backspin, right? Very, very easy guy. And you know, if you if you get better, basically, really like the backspin is like I like I said, don't do this. But if you get better, you can actually start doing stuff like that because you understand the backspin, know how to avoid your low back, and know how to keep spinning. As a beginner, I uh, advise against this. So uh, the last thing is that when you combo your backspin back to either a windmill or something else. So for me, actually, the easiest combo from backspin is actually the baby mill because all you do is start uh, basically jumping because the baby will actually makes height so you do, do this but you can actually use the same technique a little bit but collapse your legs a little bit probably helps but if you want to do combos to standing and all this prep you need the speed so when I do a backspin like this right I enter my backspin and slower and slower and slower and now I try to do it it's actually way harder you want to use the speed. It's also not that cool if you go like this. Windmill, 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 backspin, 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 stand. Right? What you want is to go very fast in your combos and really impress people. Of course, if you want to go slow-mo, you can. But actually, that's surprisingly hard to... If you don't have momentum, the combos are hard. So, when I try to go from uh, my windmill and I'll go into the, into the backspin, I try to push a little bit earlier than normal. So I don't wait to, okay, I'm almost to a stand still. Now I push on my feet, right? Because what will happen is you, you don't use your back. You just do the same technique if you go from windmill to your feet. This is the same technique, but by using the speed, you pretty much can use this easily, right? So yeah, that's actually all there is to it, guys. Uh, make sure your windmill is nice and fast if you're on that level. Or if when you enter it, make sure your legs are open, then pull them in and try to sort of, it's really nice if you can speed up in this move, basically. Uh, yeah, that's actually all it is. Let's take another look. I'll try to do it again and see how I use the little speed to pop out of it to my feet. So I don't really go to a standstill first. What? Open your feet like that. So basically that's what you practice and it's the easiest combo guys of course doing really fast windmills not easy for a beginner but when you can do the windmill you just stop on your back and use this little move to start spinning and it's quite a nice effect right go practice it and i'll see you next time